I want to switch sides with you. Okay. And I think this is my better side over okay. here. I have two good sides. I feel so like. <laughs> oh, I think you're right. You look better. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Starting a new series. Yes. Because a lot of you know that we moved and we are really excited about this house. We moved into a 108 year old historic home in downtown Deland. And we really want to document this for ourselves. And I know that a lot of people really enjoy this kind of content. I know personally, I love watching this kind of content. Action. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, they and them from around the world, welcome to our holiday home. home in a small town in historic Deland. Oh, welcome to our holiday home. home. Must admit, she's quite engaging. Welcome to a hundred-year-old home in a small town in historic Delaware. Oh, welcome to a hundred-year-old home. Lots to do, so let's begin. Hi, welcome back. We're here with my husband, Carlos. Hi. And I thought, well, we thought it would be a really fun idea to start a new series on my channel because that's what people are doing now. They're doing series on channels. We're gonna hold hands the entire time. The whole time. Because we just love each other that much. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay, let's put it. We're starting a new series. Yes. Because a lot of you know that we moved and we are really excited about this house. We moved into a 108 year old historic home in downtown Deland. If you didn't know, watch the empty house tour if you wanna check out the whole house before we moved in. And we really want to document this for ourselves. And I know that a lot of people really enjoy this kind of content. I know personally, I love watching this kind of content. And the fact that we have the ability to be able to film what we're doing to this house because we are going to be working on this house for a while. We're just gonna take it in stages and work room by room, section by section, and be able to film it and share it like I said, for us to be able to look back on and hopefully give some tips and tricks. I've always wanted a house that we could like really make our own. It's a fixer upper in a sense, like the, the big things, like the plumbing, the electrical yeah. has already been taken care of, but it's the cosmetic stuff mm -hmm. that we get to do, which is really what I wanted to do. And we wanted to start with, before we moved in, we had all of the upstairs and downstairs floors refinished. <laughs> I had no clue what refinishing really was. To me, they looked fine. We didn't oh need anything. Goodness. We could have saved a lot of money, and that's in my because we got the we got a quote. We got the quote, and she came. We with got me. a couple quotes. We got a couple quotes, and I was like, oh, woo <laughs> what? I was like, look, mommy, mommy. They're gonna start today down here and I cannot wait to see how these come up. They're gonna look so good. Megan knew when we walked into this home and saw the floors that they needed to be refinished. We, well, we found out that these were original hardwood floors, which is a big deal. 108 year old hardwood floors, we were like, you, you gotta stick with these. Yeah. You gotta salvage them if they're salvageable. And totally. they were definitely not horrible no they, they were just like changed in different rooms they were stained differently they they just needed to be brought back to life right. okay so here is a floor that hasn't been touched at all yet it has a layer of like dust all over it from taking down the wall and just all the stuff in here but it's definitely lots of coloring it had a little bit of a stain not as bad as upstairs I thought what could it really you really? just want to leave it like... I just want to leave it like it's historic. Look at these yeah. scuffs. Abraham Lincoln could have scuffed this floor. <laughs> That's how old this is. And we and knew we had to do it before we moved our stuff in. Like it was one yeah. of those things that you can't do this to your floor. I mean, you can, but it's a lot harder once you have furniture in. <laughs> that neither of us knew anything about. I mean, we've seen it on TV some, but we just didn't really know like 
what it all entails. The company that we hired, he does a lot of commercial um, floors. Hard Rock Lives, giant churches, colleges. So he has big commercial grade um, sander. And watching that sander work and just get off this layer of, I don't even know how long ago they put that stain on yeah. it. It's but it's it was really interesting watching it just like you no know, he has it there and it's like all hooked up and, and you have to be like pounds. so like strong with it and strong you know, and but like careful yeah. and like it's crazy i wanted to grab one it's like yeah, like a big like a but like a slicer like a big like a deli slicer but with the floor it's not the same thing and one thing I did not know, and originally when we first toured the house, I was like, I'd like to sand these down so they look like this. And I was like, I showed them a picture, and they're like, that, that's not the kind of floor you have, though. Like, that's not the kind of wood you have. So you can't, a wood is a wood, a certain type of wood. We have antique heart pine, and it has just naturally a amber color within it. So it has that some orangey yellowy and can get kind of red hues to it so you're not going to get like a cool toned or super white kind of wood no matter how much you sand it and originally i thought if you sand you it just more, keep yeah. sanding it and it would get it like, super and, white <laughs> right underneath <laughs> and um, i found out that, that that's, that's not, not how, how it works. works there's staining to it you that... can get stuff stained we didn't end up doing any of it stained we wanted to just keep it nice and natural and light and i'm glad we went with that i didn't know how much of a difference it can make it... wow <gasps> oh! Should we Probably not. Oh my god, isn't that crazy? That is crazy. Wow. wow, look at this. Oh, it looks so good. Yeah, I thought it was, I thought this was the color. No, that's what, this that's is the, yeah, this is gonna be the. That's like the one that's at the house. This. Oh my gosh. And that's the machine. Crazy. Wow. This is the natural heart pine. No, this is a yeah. This is a stain that someone. No, yeah. They didn't like the color, so they put. Well, a lot of people stain their floors and make it darker or more red. And this is the natural color of heart pine. So yes, he's sanding it off and taking off the stain, and then getting it here, and then he puts. A stain, but he's putting like a clear stain over it, so we keep this natural color. That's cool. Oh my god! So much better. Yay! <laughs> it changed the entire house. It gave the entire house life. It was so amazing to walk in and see it. And I trust Megan. I trust rarely, maybe one out of a hundred, do my fashion or design choices beat hers. And it's I, today one of those with the shirt with gold mm, chains mm, on mm, them. Mm, mm, now watch Bought from watching. TJ Maxx. Mm, mm, home Goods. I get this at Home Goods. <laughs> so beautiful. Oh my god, I cannot wait. Are you excited, Magnolia? She's just a dirty baby. But what can you do? Did you know that like, this house, 108 years ago, they put this floor in. Yeah. It makes it that much more special where it's like, all right, you know what? I'm gonna work with this floor. I'm going to love this floor, and I do. We're super excited to be moved in here. We still have so much to do, but we've already done so much as well. So we are excited to share what we've done. Like I said, we're gonna make this a series. We hope that you enjoy it, and thank you so much for being part of this channel and supporting us. We appreciate all the love and support you always show us, and we'll see you in the next video.